Green is the new red. Welcome to another episode of The History Of. Today we will be going over the Swiss TAS-90 and TAS-07 camouflage patterns. If you haven't already, check out part 1 where we cover the Swiss Alphaphage camouflage and the uniforms associated with it. Starting in the late 80s and going to the early 90s, Switzerland began playing around with the TAS 57 pattern. At some point, they must have realized the red dominant pattern was limiting in its concealment abilities, and so they decided to go for a more traditional route and go green. In 1990, the TAS 90 was unveiled. With some minor changes, the pattern colors were reworked, going for a more woodland scheme, as well as going from six colors to merely four. The pattern was tested for quite a while but began being issued shortly after 1993 and didn't become entirely standard issue until the end of the decade. Not only were the bright colors of the TAS 57 retired, but so was the idea of the all-in-one uniform seen in the M70. These new uniforms saw the introduction of external belt, strapping, and vest systems to carry soldiers' gear. Additionally, the new uniforms also included Velcro on the shoulders, collar, and chest for rank, name tape, and unit badging, as well as a stitched-on Swiss band on the left shoulder. The jackets would also mostly do away with the button pockets, going for zippered ones on the right sleeve and chest. The uniforms would see some minor changes from its introduction in the 90s, but many pointed out some more large-scale and noticeable ones seen around 2007. Around this time, the camo saw some minor reworking, as well as the addition of the word Swiss Armed Forces in various languages into the pattern. Some examples had only three, while others had four. Regardless of the count, the languages seen are English, German, French, and Italian. Much like the older patterns, color, sizing, and orientation variations do exist and are somewhat common, though they are much less rampant than they once were. Apart from the different styles of cut seen in the base uniform, various other uniform pieces such as fleece jackets, Gore-Tex type coats, tanker overalls, and numerous others have been issued. Unlike the TAS 57 and TAS 83 uniforms, TAS 90 uniforms are a bit harder to obtain as they are somewhat controlled. Then, around 2006-2007 time, a new pattern would be unveiled, issued to certain multinational and peacekeeping forces stationed abroad. Dubbed TAS 07, this camouflage took the TAS-90 and altered it for a desert and arid environments, named Wustestarn and Sudtarn in German, meaning desert pattern and southern pattern. These began being issued to only select troops and are heavily regulated by the Swiss government. This pattern can currently be seen by Swiss K-4 or Kosovo forces, a NATO peacekeeping force stationed in Kosovo, Swiss NNSC forces or Neutral Nations Subvisory Commission in South Korea, as well as Swiss troops stationed in Lebanon and various other nations around the Middle East and Africa. The cut of these uniforms are more or less the exact same as the woodland variants and include caps and boonie hats as well. Once a soldier signs up and fulfills the training for one of these peacekeeping missions, they may be issued this pattern along with the standard TAS-90. In many of these countries, both patterns are seen being worn side by side. Upon completion of their mission, the soldier must return the TAS-07 uniform. This has led the pattern to be highly sought after by collectors, and instances of the pieces finding their way to the public are extremely rare. In August of 2017, the Swiss Army began experimenting with a new combat system for its troops. Fielding only a few olive color uniforms to a select number of troops, this new system called MBAS would see the introduction of body armor as well as a new modern equipment system. Once fielding and testing was complete and approved, a new pattern called Multi-Field Camouflage Pattern 16 would be applied to the new system. In February of 2018, the Swiss Federal Council announced that it had approved MBAS and said it would begin equipping soldiers with it and aim to have it out at some point in 2019. Based on photos from an event, it appears that the new pattern will be a mix of the Swiss TAS-90 and Multicam. However, nothing has yet been confirmed. And with that, looks like this is the end of our small series on Switzerland's camouflage uniforms. Keep an eye out in the future for another video delving into the numerous Swiss camouflage helmet covers and their variations. As always, be sure to subscribe or check back in the future for more of the history of and other videos here on Uniform History.